500 Days of Summer was the debut of Mark Webb as a feature film director. You may know his name as he helms the Amazing Spider-Man series. Now, this is a massive departure from a usual fare of sci-fi monster movies and B-horror films, but upon a recent watch of 500 Days, I felt compelled to do a review. I find this movie simply fantastic. It's been on the short list of my favorite films since the first time I saw it. For me, there are just so many things about this piece of cinema that I find stupendous. The cinematography and use of music are excellent here, showing off Mark Webb's background in music videos. In fact, you could chop up almost any sequence from the movie and it would play out like a fitting music video for both the tone it's trying to pull and the song it uses while doing it. The cast is considerably well put together, with Joseph Gordon-Levitt in the lead opposite Zoe Deschanel, and a brilliant supporting cast featuring Clark Gregg, Jeffrey Aron, Chloe Grace Moretz, Matthew Gay Glover, and more. Every one of these actors brings a believable and entertaining performance, fitting their roles dutifully. The best part about this film, however, at least in my opinion, is the story. 500 Days of Summer takes a refreshing twist on the romantic comedy genre, and does so in a delightful fashion. It is almost a snapshot of a white-collar everyman as he deals with the all-too-relatable situations with his relationships in his life, shown in this universally understandable and engaging collage. Watching this movie, I find myself empathetic to the struggles that the main character goes through and his overall character arc as a whole. The engrossment that I get from 500 Days of Summer's ethos is one that I can seldom say I've experienced with film before, and as such, makes the movie stand out to me in a big way. I cannot seem to get tired of 500 Days, and I recommend it to anyone and everyone. It's a movie that gets better every time I watch it. What happens by inviting they work out? What always happens? Life. Get over her. I don't want to get over her. I want to get her back.